Okay, with this next demo project, the Right Night Feeling, I'm pretty sure you're going to get surprised. Hi everybody, Matthias here and welcome to another Apple M1 tech video. Today I'll take a look at the latest version of FS Studio 20.8.4, which is now natively compatible with the Apple Silicon M1 ARM64 architecture. In my previous video running FS Studio with the Apple M1, we tried out my test project called Summer Chill, which is one of my own tracks, and we also ran one of the more demanding FS Studio demo projects. So we'll do the same kind of tests in, uh, in this video. Now if you missed my previous episode running FS Studio via Rosetta on the Apple M1, you can always click the card up here. Right, aside from that I also got some exciting news because Apple just released uh, the next generation of the Apple M1 in the M1 Max and the M1 Pro. So I already ordered a 14 inch uh, M1 Max with 32 gigs RAM and uh, one terabyte of SSD. And the M1 Max has uh, 10 internal cores, 24 graphical cores and 16 neural engine cores. So I'm really excited to make an updated review on the M1 Max once it arrives to my studio. If you're new to my channel, my name is Matthias and I make music production, sound design and tech videos and reviews on music gear. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Right, so let's take the tour. Okay, so here we have my uh, summer chill project and let's uh, begin by opening up uh, the plugin performance monitor. So we can basically see how each of the plugins perform during uh, playback. And I'll actually uh, put a list on the side here so you can see exactly what kind of plugins I've loaded on this, uh, on this project. And this is a typical song arrangement of mine with a couple of serum patches, a couple of harmor patches, and then it's a, a bunch of sampler tracks, of course, and uh, yeah, your regular EQ plugins and reverbs and uh, delays. And some final limiter on, on the master channel. Right, so let's play back the track on the native version of FL Studio 20.8.4. And I'll also put uh, the previous playback performance on the side here. So we can see how they differ in performance when we play back the track. So let's go. Yeah, so that's absolutely a much better performance. We were just uh, around 15% of uh, CPU usage. So you could definitely add up just a stack of uh, more Harmor presets and uh, uh, instances of uh, Valhalla Supermassive or whatever plugins you want here and, and get really great performance out of the Apple M1. And as I said earlier, this is just the first generation of the M1. And it's also worth noting that the M1 MacBook Pro stays uh, really cool during the whole uh, playback performance, unlike if you try to play back the same kind of arrangement on an older Intel-based uh, MacBook Pro, which gets uh, really hot uh, when running FL Studio. I will do an update video on the new M1 Max and see how, how that will perform, and, and it will probably blow away this uh, earlier M1 too. But uh... Right, so that's uh, the performance of uh, my summer, summer chill project on, on the Apple M1 with the native version of FL Studio 20.8.4, the native ARM64 version. Right, so let's continue our tests and uh, dive into one of the more demanding demo projects in FL Studio. Okay, with this next demo project, the Right Night Feeling, I'm pretty sure you're going to get surprised. The previous test in FS Studio 20.8.2 gave us around 55-60% of CPU usage during the choruses. So let's see what uh, this latest FS Studio version will give us. When it's too fast for me, I look to the 
the stars where the surprise for you I'll be as one when it's too fast when it's too fast for us where's the fight where's the fight we'll be for us to fly. Right, so that's absolutely uh, some great uh, performance boosts here. As we can see, it's uh, only around uh, 17 to 20 percent of CPU usage. And as I said, the previous uh, playback on the FS Studio 20.8.2 gave us around 55 60 percent of CPU usage. So, Image Lion has uh, really done some really great uh, performance uh, boosts with this update. Okay, now what would you like me to try out with the new M1 Max that's arriving in 2-3 uh, weeks? The 32 gigs version? If you have any great or bold ideas, just let me know in the comment section below. Right, now you can continue and watch my next video. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tech videos and music and sound design content. Right, see you in the next one. Bye!